Older people, they've seen so many stories like this one I'm about to share, but younger people may not be aware of these games. That's why you should go ahead and share this video with your family, your siblings, cousins, nieces, nephews, your kids. Take a second to make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Click that notification bell for updates. And if you're new, include new subscriber in your comment below. And I'm going to try my best to respond to all of you. If you're from Memphis, Tennessee, Arizona, Cincinnati, Ohio, or the Bronx, New York, definitely let me know below in the comments. But let's go ahead and get into it. There was a woman in the Bronx Let's call her Juliet. She went on Instagram to find men, struck up conversations with them, and out of all of the men, she was able to convince two of them to meet up with her. She planned to meet one of them on December 3rd, 2021, and the other on the following day on December 4th. These men, they were happy to meet up with a new new from IG, who had offered them to hang out with her in the Bronx. So they're thinking, okay, she's an attractive woman. Everything is all good. So December 3rd, the first Romeo, he's 24 years old. He met up with Juliet at 11.30 p.m. near a contractor's office on Anthony Avenue near the Cross Bronx Expressway in Claremont Village. And the IG Juliet, she showed up. She's a real person. You know, just like he thought she would be from the pictures, videos, and IG stories. But it's one thing he didn't know. Juliet didn't show up alone. He found out very quickly that she had two men with her. They ordered Romeo at gunpoint to remove his clothing and property. And then the men got into Romeo's 2018 Infinity and drove off with his car. The next day, December 4th, that's the day Juliet convinced another Romeo, we'll call him Romeo 2. Juliet was able to convince a 27 year old man to meet her on a residential block in East Chester. According to authorities, Romeo 2 showed up at about 8 o'clock p.m. and he was confronted by two men who took his cell phone, his coat, a chain, and a gold ring. Unlike Romeo 1, Romeo 2 managed to get away with his car, but as he was speeding away, the two men opened fire, striking his car as he fled away. Fortunately, Romeo 1 and Romeo 2, they're doing okay, they got away, but the two men and the Juliet from IG they're still out there and possibly coming for more Romeos in the Bronx. Now, some people may say, well, it's just a cold winter in New York. Too much concrete. I guess any excuse to say it's a one-off incident. Let's look at Flagstaff, Arizona. Another man, we can call him Romeo 3. He arranged to meet up with this woman. He met her on Instagram. She's been identified as Lily Beeler. Lily is from Las Vegas, but she was in Arizona when this happened. Romeo 3, he was sleeping on his couch and he was woken up by the sound of gunshots. He said that Lily shot at him twice with a pink and silver handgun. Luckily, Romeo 3, he wasn't injured. He ran upstairs and that's where he was able to hide until Lily left. But before leaving, Lily helped herself to his money, his laptops, shoes, and jewelry. Lily took whatever that she could find and carry out of there. Then she picked up her phone. She went into the app and called Lyft. Lily had to get away somehow, so she ordered a Lyft driver to come and pick her up from Romeo's house. According to Lyft, Lily was dropped off somewhere near Interstate 40, wearing a black plaid shirt, blue jeans, red shoes, and carrying a black gym bag, Romeo 3's money, jewelry, and everything in it. Now let's go back a couple of weeks. Head over to Memphis, Tennessee and we'll call him Romeo number four. Romeo four said that he was on a dating app. He met a woman named Sonya. He went to meet up with Sonya on November 15th, 2021 at her apartment in the 8,000 block of Sag Harbor Circle. He knocked on the door and hey, it was Sonya. At least that's what he thought. But before Romeo could even sit down, here comes a man and another woman. They told Romeo four to give them his cell phone, his keys, and his wallet. He refused to give his belongings up, so they all started putting paws on Romeo. They grabbed him up, took him into the parking lot, and threw him in the back seat of a Honda. Two women in the front and driver passenger seats, while the man was in the back seat with Romeo 4. Romeo noticed that all three of them had guns, and they were all telling him that they would kill him. So what happened next? Well, they just drove around town with Romeo sitting there. At some point though, they stopped the car. 
he got out and he ran into the woods while the men and the two women, they let off about five shots. Romeo four, he hid in the woods until he believed that it was all clear. That's when he came out of the woods and he walked to the Methodist North Hospital. Four people identified and taken in for this. Jasmine A. Williams, 22 years old. Trevor Keyes, 32 years old. Nadia Townsend, 29 years old. And Jasmine S. Williams, 22 years old. At least one of these women posed as Sonya. Not sure if it was the first Jasmine Williams or the second Jasmine Williams. And then you have the other two women who met Romeo Four at the house along with Trevor. Now, fortunately for Romeo number four, he was also able to make it out of this situation because it looks like Pookie and the Cruellas, they almost took him out. Let's make one more stop. Cincinnati, Ohio. I have to share this last story right here with you. It's really gonna help a lot of people, especially young men like Darnay Almond. Darnay, very hardworking. As a teenager, he worked at an amusement park where he was granted the Outstanding Customer Support Award for his excellent customer service. He also worked at Chick-fil-A before he worked at a retirement home. Darnay, he's a respectful young man with a great attitude, enrolled at the University of Cincinnati, highly ambitious. He was able to hold on to two jobs while in college, while his dream is to own a real estate company. But all of that came to a halt on July 29th, 2021. Darnay met a young woman on Facebook. After online communication, Darnay planned to meet up with the woman in person at a bar. They agreed to meet up at Sydney's, located in the 1100 block of Kemper Road in the Forest Park area of Cincinnati. It was about 2 a.m. in the morning when one of the patrons from the bar discovered Darnay across the street. Darnay had been shot, so the patron called the police. Authorities rushed to the scene where Darnay was declared DOA. Within two weeks, two teenagers were identified in connection with the case, 18-year-old DeAndre Manning and the 16-year-old Juliet, whose name wasn't released. Investigators started to piece the puzzle together. According to reports, Darnay met the Juliet on Facebook and the two arranged to meet up at the bar to hang out. What he didn't know was that she was 16 years old and she had another plan for Darnay. The girl made a plan with another teenager, 18-year-old DeAndre Manning. They met Darnay outside of the bar and tried to steal money from him. It was about $100. They shot Darnay and fled the scene. Darnay's family got together and held a candlelight vigil. It took place on the anniversary of Darnay's father's passing. His father suffered from colon cancer. And one of Darnay's cousins, Danita Beavers, she spoke out before his 21st birthday because Darnay, he would have been 21 on September 20th, 2021. But Danita, she said that she had no sympathy for the people responsible and she said that she hoped they get what they deserve. Danita said they did not have any reason for going after Darnay, didn't even know him. And then Darnay's mother, Tanika Shields, she sat down with reporters because she wanted to shed light on the situation. She said that her son was lured to that location through social media. Darnay's mother said that social media is not the way to contact people and think that they're your friends. She went on to say there will be ghost writers on the other end ready to set you up. As for the 18-year-old DeAndre Manning and the 16-year-old Juliet, DeAndre will more than likely get life, but the 16-year-old girl, she'll be held accountable in some way to a lesser degree. But imagine this, this girl is in jail now but she's going to be released at some point. And at that time, she will still be a young woman in her 20s. We already know the 18-year-old somebody like DeAndre, he's never getting out. But that young female, she will get mercy. And she will be back out on the streets in her 20s. Darnay's mom said that he was loving, he loved to cook, spent his time on his schoolwork, in college for business, and he also had his own business on the side. He poured all of his extra time into his business while he also worked two jobs very ambitious but here's the thing when you're looking for a personal connection you're vulnerable there are some juliets and jokers out there like deandre and the 16 year old in ohio like lily in arizona or trevor the jasmines and the fake sonya from memphis these kind of people will see you as an opportunity that goes for men and women be careful in 2022 don't give out your address or your personal information. You shouldn't even pass out phone numbers easily in 2022. Go to a public spot. Always let a friend or family member know where you're going. 
Sending condolences to Darnay's family, to his mother, who wanted to highlight that her son was lured to that location, and she wanted to warn other men to watch out, possibly saving them from what happened to her own son. You know, it's just some crazy people out here, and they do use women as bait. So everybody just be careful out there. Special shout out to Dark Power, Sueño, Del Nino, and Mike P. I appreciate all of you for your support for this channel. You can show your support as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. And also, don't forget to share this video and give it a thumbs up.